What actually is this ion beam therapy that is offered at Midostron? Simply put, it is a special kind of radiation therapy to treat cancer. Conventional radiation therapy works with photons, like X-rays, and electrons. Ion beam therapy, aka particle therapy, uses, as implied in the name, ions. These are electrically charged atoms of which all solid, liquid or gaseous elements are made. For ion beam therapy, protons and carbon ions are used. They are positively charged hydrogen and carbon atoms. To understand the difference between conventional radiotherapy and ion beam therapy, you need to know how irradiation works when it penetrates tissue. Let's first have a look at photons and their effectivity on the example of a brain tumour. There is a tumour in the middle of the brain which we want to irradiate with protons. As soon as photon beams enter the tissue, their energy decreases quite rapidly and exponentially, which means the more tissue needs to be penetrated, the less radiation is left at the site of the tumour. What does that mean? To get sufficiently close to the tumour in order to kill the cancerous cells, irradiation needs to start with a much higher dose. This means that a relatively high dose meets the tissue in front of the tumour and might damage this tissue. Unfortunately, photons also don't slow down once they've reached the tumour, which means the healthy tissue behind the tumour receives radiation as well. This increases the risk for new tumours and side effects. Radiation with ion beams works differently by taking advantage of the effect which in physics is called the Bragg peak. Charged particles lose energy when they pass through matter and get slowed down. When the initial speed is very high, the loss is very low in the beginning when it enters the head and is highest shortly before its still stand, meaning right in the tumour. The motion energy of these particles is that active ingredient that kills cancerous cells, and their penetration depth can be calculated with extreme accuracy. In this way, it is made sure that protons and carbon ions release most of their energy precisely in the tumour. The tissue in front of the tumour is affected by considerably less radiation, and healthy cells behind the tumour are almost completely spared. In this way, side and long-term effects can be considerably reduced. The necessary energy for these particles is generated with a special accelerator, the so-called synchrotron. Ion beam therapy is especially used for tumours that are resistant to conventional radiation therapy and those which are located in delicate anatomical positions.